Hey guys, it's Chris. From enormous, elusive creatures that hardly anyone has ever seen, to predators with giant teeth that will try to eat you, here are eight creatures faced by divers. Careful next time you go swimming. Number eight, Giant Pyrosum. The Giant Pyrosum is known as the unicorn of the sea because while it is known to exist, there have not been many who have gotten to see it up close, let alone take photos and videos of it. Yet that's exactly what happened off the coast of Tanzania in August of 2013. To those who don't know what pyrosums are, they are free-floating colonial tunicates. They usually live in the upper layers of the open ocean in warm seas. Although some may be found at greater depths, pyrosums are cylindrical or cone-shaped colonies of up to 60 feet long made up of hundreds of thousands of individuals known as zooids. And you might be thinking, but if they're all individuals, how can they form a singular body like this? That's because every individual is wrapped up together in a gelatinous tunic, and it's that which divers see if they're lucky enough to encounter the creature, which is another reason it's known as the unicorn of the sea, because it's very much unlike anything that is out there given its gelatinous form and how it moves. Despite being comprised of many organisms, as the divers saw and others have noted, it doesn't move freely on its own like you would expect. Rather, it gets pushed and pulled by the currents and tides of the waters that it's in. The one that the diver saw off Tanzania was looking around for water that is rich in plankton as that's what it eats as the zooids are filter feeders. That means that they pull water into themselves and filter out what they need to eat and what they can get rid of. Giant pyrosums are also known as one of the few creatures that have natural bioluminescence, meaning they can glow in the waters, usually shining bright blue. Number seven, giant sunfish. In 2015 off the coast of Portugal, some divers were in for quite a shock because they saw a rather large fish in the waters. But it wasn't a shark or anything like that. It was a giant sunfish, one that was apparently so big that it dwarfed the great white sharks that were around it. This particular sunfish is known to be part of the family called the Molidae, or the ocean sunfish. They are renowned for their massive bodies and are called the largest of the bony fish. They can get up to 15 feet in length and weigh over 5,000 pounds, confirming that the divers weren't exaggerating when they made their comparisons to the great white shark. As photos and videos have shown, the giant sunfish that was found actually has a mouth that's big enough to swallow the divers whole, but it has no inclination to do so mainly because it's a harmless fish that usually just eats jellyfish for a living. What's more, it's a curious creature, and it was fine with the divers swimming around it so long as they didn't harm it, which of course they didn't. They merely filmed the giant sunfish with the equipment they had and let it be. One of the more curious aspects of the giant sunfish is that when it wants to, it'll go up to the surface of the ocean and sunbathe, which is one of the reasons it's got its name. And yet right after it does that, it'll go down to some of the deepest parts of the ocean itself to eat and live. Number 6. Atlantic Goliath Grouper The Atlantic Goliath Grouper is a species of fish that are found in usually tropical areas of the water that are close to the surface. And they prefer to live in areas like coral reefs, artificial reefs, and anywhere else they can find a good hiding spot to use to get prey. Their name is accurate as well, as they can grow to about 8 feet in length, and given their nature as predators, this means that people shouldn't mess with them when they see them. Yet one diver did, and got a hard lesson taught to him. Diver Arif Saber was with his wife off the coast of Florida, and was doing some spear fishing. Sure enough, he caught a fish with his spear, which his wife caught on camera. However, while he was celebrating the catch, an Atlantic Goliath grouper suddenly appeared and approached the diver, even swimming by him and circling around so it could look him square in the face. After a standoff, Saber decided he had won, and so he made his way to the surface, his wife filming the whole event. As he was going to the surface though, the grouper followed him. Apparently, you could hear Saber laughing as it did, thinking it was just curious about the fish and wasn't gonna do anything but he was very wrong. The Atlantic Goliath grouper lunged out, grabbed the fin of the diver and ripped it right off his foot. Then the grouper rushed forward and ate both the fish and the spear it was on. Once it did that though, it spun around and swam away, leaving the diver alone. Later on, Saber would find his spear in a sandbank about a quarter of a mile away. 
As many have noted, Sabre was lucky he didn't lose a foot in his encounter. Atlantic Goliath grouper aren't just known for their length, but also their powerful jaws, which help them close down on prey, which Sabre almost was in this particular instance. Plus, there have been many cases of people being stalked or even attacked by groupers, such as this one, because they perceived them as a threat. And now for number 5, but first, be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already. Number 5. Whale Shark True to its namesake, the whale shark is a massive creature in the oceans. In fact, this is the largest shark species alive in the world today, and the largest fish in the oceans. The largest recorded one is, get this, 62 feet. You would think that this would make it a big monster, but it's just the opposite. Just like the whale in its name, it's a very docile creature. More than that, it's a filter feeder, meaning it only eats the tiniest of creatures and takes the nutrients it needs to survive from them without much eating. It'll just open its mouth and let creatures fly in, so to speak. The whale shark is so calm that it'll let humans come up to it and swim with it without so much as turning away. But in one very rare case in September of 2012, something very different happened that hasn't been fully explained. As noted, divers like to swim with the whale sharks because they're very docile creatures. And in this case, that's what happened to start. Three divers found a group of whale sharks who were more than happy to let them swim alongside them. One had a camera and filmed the whole thing. But the problem was that one of the whale sharks turned around and noticed the camera and started swimming towards it. And when it did, it opened its mouth, almost like it wanted to eat the camera. It didn't do so, but after it passed by that diver, it went towards another diver. And this time, it wouldn't stop chasing them. Usually, this would be considered playful, except that every time the whale shark got close to the diver, it would open its mouth and inhale water like it was ready to eat the diver. This game of cat and mouse happened through multiple passes, as the diver, who was clearly panicked, would try to escape the whale shark, only for the whale shark to chase them and keep trying to inhale them. The attack eventually stopped, and the divers have noted that they feel the whale shark was playing with them because it saw the bubbles coming out of them and thought it was fun or something like that. The divers, though, should be grateful that whale sharks are naturally slow, because if this was another species of shark, they likely wouldn't have been so lucky. Number 4. Giant Squid Once upon a time, the giant squid was thought to be a myth or a hoax, mainly because the only ones we had ever seen were in stories by sailors, which is how we got the legend of the Kraken, and when some of them washed up on shore. However, with the growth of technology has come the rise of many tales of divers and swimmers, and others meeting these creatures alive and on their own turf. Such as one story that comes out of Japan. Near Japan is a trench in the ocean. The giant squids love to live there because it's dark and apart from other creatures, and has waters that it likes. But one day, a diver went down into the water. And when he came back, a giant squid came with him. To be clear, the giant squid wasn't attacking the diver, it just wanted to play, apparently, which the diver was more than happy to do with it until it swam back down into the ocean. One of the biggest ironies of this is that because this happened near the beach area, there were a lot of people near the water. And when the giant squid came up, they were more than happy to take its picture, which the squid didn't seem to mind for the most part. This isn't the kind of behavior you would expect from a deep sea creature, but based on the pictures, it was kind of a young squid, and one that likely wanted to see what the humans and diver were all about, which is nice, but also lucky. Giant squids have been known to harm humans who get too close, and their size, which can be over 30 feet in length, is more than enough to kill various things, people included. Number 3. Great White Shark Shark attacks aren't always fatal, and they don't happen as often as you might expect. However, they do happen, and as Tyler McQuillan was more than happy to note, they can get pretty dangerous really fast. He was off the coast of California near Santa Barbara with his friends and went spearfishing. As he was doing so, though, he felt an impact that made him lose his spear. When he felt it, he thought his friends had come around to prank him. But as he looked around, he found himself facing a great white shark. What's more, the foot that had lost its flipper was actually hurt, making things even worse. The impact that hurt his foot also led to him losing his spear gun, so he had to go and swim down to get it back, while also dodging the shark. 
and then to use the spear gun to defend himself and ensure the shark didn't try to kill him. He had to jab it multiple times with the end of the spear itself in order to get the shark just to leave him alone. All told, McQuillan fared better than most, including only getting two broken toes out of the endeavor. No doubt what saved him was the spear gun, because great white sharks have one of the most powerful bite strengths in the whole world, and would have just ripped through his wetsuit if given the chance. Thankfully, that didn't happen in this instance. McQuillan said that once he healed up from the injuries, he would go and get back into the water. Number 2. Dolphin There are plenty of stories of dolphins saving human lives. But for one diver named Keller Laros, it was the other way around, for he was leading a group of divers on a tour to see some manta rays in Hawaii, when all of a sudden, they heard a noise. All of a sudden, I heard a loud squeak, and I turned around. The dolphin was literally three feet behind me, Laros said. He swam right up to me. The dolphin got the attention of everyone, including a camera woman who was on scene for the tour. But what made them curious was that the dolphin continued to swim around them as if to get their attention. As Laros looked closer, he noticed that the dolphin was hooked to a fishing line, meaning the dolphin was hurt, and he knew the divers could maybe help him out. I said, come here, and he swam right up to me, he said. I put my hand out and I was able to get the fishing hook out of his left pectoral fin. The fishing line came from his mouth down through the hook in the left pectoral fin and then was wrapped all the way around the pectoral fin and it trailed off down the side of the animal. After freeing the dolphin, it left and they never saw it again, but the deed was done and that was what mattered to Leros. It's a huge thrill to be able to help an animal that clearly knows what's going on, he said. Number 1. Great White Shark Part 2 in Perth, Australia, a fisherman had an encounter with a great white shark that nearly cost him his life. He was off the coast of the continent when he went off his boat and into the water to hunt some fish. But sometime during his expedition, he decided to go and hunt a school of pinkfish. By doing this, though, he ended up about 900 feet from his boat, which is not recommended when you're swimming in the open waters. Sure enough, as he was hunting this school of fish, a great white shark emerged. At first, it didn't attack the diver, whose name was Joe Petrovich. Rather, it scanned him to see what he was doing. Then suddenly, the shark rushed at Joe. Joe had a camera on his helmet, and you can see the shark rushing at him and trying to eat him. But Joe was able to get his spear up first and start jabbing at the shark to get him to back off. But the shark kept going, as it's known to be a very persistent species of shark. After Joe had fended him off, the Great White continued to circle him for some time. Wanting to see if the diver would maybe make a mistake, Joe didn't try and run because in the water, the Great White can move at over 35 miles per hour in short bursts. The battle with the Great White lasted for nine minutes, but Joe was able to get back to his boat and keep the shark at bay while he got back on board. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these encounters with fish and beyond that divers had? Can you believe some of the scary experiences they've had to go through, as well as some of the wondrous ones? Which of these do you think was the best or maybe the worst of the bunch? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldless before you leave, and I'll see you next time.